In Romans 8, 14, Paul talks about being led by the Spirit, which is just this awesome, wonderful concept. But we do have to ask, well, what does it mean to be led by the Spirit? Now, I want to be clear. I absolutely believe in the leading of the Spirit. I believe the Spirit leads. There is no question in my mind that we are led by the Spirit if we are walking the straight and narrow road. However, that doesn't answer the full question, does it? There are still some concepts out there that are inconsistent with being led by the Spirit. Let me name three of them. Being led by the Spirit does not mean that you have exclusive information to spiritual knowledge that no one else has. It doesn't mean that God's talking to you directly and whispering in your ear secrets that he has not revealed to other people. That's a misconception. Also, it doesn't mean that you have special gifts, like I would say like the Corinthians had special gifts, Yet they weren't being led by the Spirit, were they? If you'll read 1 Corinthians, you'll see that even though they had spiritual gifts, they were one messed up group of people. They were anything but led by the Spirit. They were led by their selfishness, their ego, their pride. And so you get a bit of a paradox there that we won't delve into in this video. But there you have people with the gifts of the Spirit, and yet they're all messed up. So being led by the Spirit doesn't mean, oh, I've got special gifts nobody else has. And now there's a little nuance there because you may have some talents that another person does not have. But if you look at humanity in full, we all have basically the same talents, you know, focus varies. And then being led by the Spirit doesn't mean that you're an exception to the Word of God or that you get an easy pathway. When God said, study to show yourself approved, the person who is led by the Spirit isn't excluded from that. When he said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together, that doesn't mean, well, I'm led by the Spirit. I don't have to attend church. When he gave other commandments, such as let no corrupt communication proceed from your mouth, oh, but, but I'm led by the Spirit. <laughs> I don't have to do that one. That is not what being led by the Spirit means. If your idea of being led by the Spirit excludes you from Bible teaching, you're not led by the Spirit. I don't mean to be mean, but you're just not that. If being led by the Spirit means you're going to have an easy path to heaven, then Paul was not led by the Spirit. Now, I believe Paul was led by the Spirit, but if you'll start reading in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 22, take it to the end of that paragraph. Paul being led by the Spirit had an extremely difficult, painful, hard life. Being led by the Spirit does not mean, ooh, I get an easy, cushy life and all my prayers get answered. Sorry, that's not the way it works. So what does it mean to be led by the Spirit? I hate to kind of disappoint you here because this is just so simple. It's Matthew 4, 4. Man does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's what it means to be led by the Spirit. Or if I can put it in the language of John 6 and 63, Christ said, the words that I speak are Spirit. To be led by the Spirit means to follow the Word of God. Does not mean to cherry pick the Word of God, it means to endeavor honestly and sincerely to live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So there's your thought for the day, being led by the Spirit. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think. And as always, have a great day.